Hello guys, um, I'm back with another video for the Lord. Um, this morning he woke me up about 4 o'clock in the morning and he just began to pour a lot of things into my spirit. So it, it just really amazes me how good God is and how much he loves his people. He is really pouring out his spirit daily and he is reassuring us and he doesn't want any us of us to perish. Like this message is so beautiful to me and um, God is continually showing that we are his first love. Like he wants all of his children to turn back to him. He really wants to bless us and he really wants us to receive Christ as Lord over our life. You guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and get into the message and um, yeah, I'm, I'm still uh, recording with my phone. I, I, I bought the camera, but I didn't get a memory card. So um, I'm going to do this video again via screen record. Okay guys, the Lord woke me up at 4 a.m. and later led me into a vision. In the vision, he had bread in his hand and he gave it to me and said, feed my sheep. When I got up, I knew instantly that he wants me to share this specific prayer that I will post in the description box below. It is packed with powerful prayers to break every stubborn curse. God has risen up his mighty men and women of valor to attack all of those stubborn forces of darkness that have been oppressing his children, keeping them bound in captivity. The captives are being set free through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, you guys. As I prepare to go back to sleep, the Lord downloaded into my spirit a song by Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey called When You Believe. So the Lord speaks to me um, as well through song. So whenever he speaks to me through a song, when he downloads the song into my spirit, he downloads the exact lyric, starting from the exact lyric that he wants me to deliver. So, um, you know, guys, I would go ahead and sing it for you all. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would sing it for you guys. Um and I just had a, um, made a little joke with the Lord. I said, God, now this voice that I have is only a voice that my father in heaven will love. And he just, he said, it's beautiful. And I played it back because I was going to serenade you guys. I was going to sing for you guys. And I played it back. I said, oh, no, Lord. <laughs> he said, well, your God ordained spouse is going to love it. And I just giggled. And I'm like, okay, well, he can love it and you can love it. But I'm not about to... Um, I'm not about to grace you guys with my singing today. <laughs> okay, so the lyrics are as follows. And there can be miracles when you believe. Though hope is frail, it's hard to kill. Who knows what miracles you can achieve. When you believe, somehow you will. You will when you believe. And that is in Christ Jesus. When you believe that Christ Jesus died on the cross for our sins and he was risen again so that we may have eternal life. Okay, so then um, I back all of this word, every word that God gives, I back with scripture. So Luke 4, 18 through 19 says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, the Messiah, because he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He has sent me to announce release, pardon, forgiveness to the captives, and recovery of sight. Hold on, what happened? What happened here? Okay, and recovery of sight to the blind, to set free those who are oppressed, downtrodden, bruised, crushed by tragedy, to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord, the day when salvation and the favor of God abound greatly. The Lord said, oh, what miracles await all those who believe and trust in his name, those that believe he came from heaven above down to earth. The Spirit of God then brought another song to me called, I Will Lift Your Name on High by Donnie McKirkland. You guys, I encourage you to go back and listen to both of these songs um, because, of course, I only give the specific lyric that the Lord um, downloaded to me. So this is what he said. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross, my debt to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. You guys, this is so amazing. The Lord is so good. Like, like he is pouring out his love every day, you guys. And he really, really, truly is the good shepherd, you guys. He is the good shepherd. He leaves the 99 for the one, okay? He is reaching out and calling back his first love, okay? He is calling us back to him. Oh my God, I love, I love God so much. 
So you guys, if you have not yet given your life to Christ, I pray that you join me today and acknowledge Jesus as Lord over your life. Confess openly out of your mouth that you were born a sinner. Declare that Jesus is Lord and you believe that he died on the cross and was risen from the dead, that you may be cleansed of all your sins and have eternal life. You can refer back to scripture in Romans 10, 9 through 13. And if you haven't already, if you have already given your life to Christ and have fallen back into the ways of the world, repent and return back to God, you guys. He loves you and will forgive you of all your sins, no matter how big or small. And the Holy Spirit made sure he gave that to me. He told me no matter how big or small, he will forgive you of your sins. Now, what you guys don't let the, the enemy whisper in your ear. I said this in another video and I say it all the time because I know some people feel this way. Do not let the enemy make you think that you cannot get, um, be forgiven by God. God is merciful and he wants us to turn from sin and come back to him in repentance, in true repentance, guys. You, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you did. God does not measure our sin, you guys. Turn back to the Father. He will forgive you and he will blot out every sin. That is the reason he sent his son to die on the cross for us and bear all of those things because he knew we couldn't do it. We could not follow the law of Moses, you guys. Do not let the enemy keep you bound and make you think that you did too much. Repent, you guys. I, I pray. I pray that you all repent. Okay, you guys, I was about to say Lord God again because I'm so used to saying it. Let me find where I am. Okay, so you guys, um, you can refer to Acts 3, 19 through 21 um, to back that scripture up. I mean, to back that up. Now, if either of you fall in this category and turn to God in repentance, I know that God and all of heaven's angels are rejoicing. And so am I. And you guys, I definitely know that God and heaven's angels are rejoicing because I heard them. I could hear them in the spirit. They were rejoicing. Okay. I could hear it loud and clear. And then I heard the Lord say, therefore rejoice. It's in your praise. So guys, turn on Fred Hammond, turn it up loud and praise God because you guys, I turn this on all the time because the Lord always brings it to my spirit. Victory is in your praise. Salvation for your whole family is in your praise. Deliverance is in your praise. Protection is in your praise, okay? Get up, you guys. Praise God, okay? Praise God. So, you guys, I hope this word blesses you, and I hope that it reaches every person that it is intended to reach. I love you guys so very much and stay blessed. Bye.